Hi, a very good evening to all of you. So today we'll discuss about South Asian University and its exam pattern, right? So South Asian University started its academic session in 2010, okay? It's located in Delhi and it it is an international university, right? So it is an international university formulated by eight member SARC organization, right? South Asian Association for Regional Corporation. South Asian Association for Regional Corporation, that is the full form of SARC, right? Now, let's go ahead and discuss in detail about their two-year course structure, okay? Uh, so, basically, they try to make sure that the course, again, has a balance of both practical knowledge as well as theoretical knowledge. At the same time, the content, especially in terms of the practical knowledge, they try to make sure that everything as, is as per the industry standard or it is as per the industry requirement, right? So for example, a software requirement in 2010 is not the same that we require in 2023, right? So as in how the industry keeps on evolving, the course structure, in particular, the practical knowledge is being adjusted, is being updated as per the industry norms, right? Secondly, again, like any other uh, master's in eco course, they also have a final year completely dedicated for their dissertation, right? Because in your master's course, dissertation is very, very important to make sure that you have gained both practical knowledge and the theoretical knowledge in equal balance, right? Because you would be like, it depends upon which uh, sector you would be going and doing your dissertation work. Is it a public sector or a private sector? or any other, right? So in either scenario, there will be a mix of both the skill sets that you need to make sure and perform in your dissertation work, right? So when you talk about SAO, it basically like being established by the SAO countries, the, the emphasis in terms of knowledge, economical knowledge or economic aspects of SAO nation countries is also always kept into the course structure, right? you need you you will be kind of aware with all the economic scenarios especially in particular to SAP countries as well right now uh once you complete the course again uh, i would say more or less on the similar lines to any other course structure uh the focus or the final outcome is to make sure that uh, analytically as well and even from a policy point of view or a policy perspective each and every student is comfortable in terms of uh, understanding, in terms of implication as well, right? Because it can never be key. Once you complete your master's, you will go right away to a corporate sector or you will only stick to, let's say, a public sector work, okay? There can be a mix of two. One, maybe you start your career in a corporate sector, right? But later on, you decide to go and do IES, right? Or you want to do professorship, right? So there has to be a balance of both theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge. That is the reason that once you complete this entire course structure, according to them, you are good enough to go into any of the domains you choose, right? Now, so in terms of eligibility, right? Eligibility is one of the most important part before you decide on uh, filling off any of the forms, right? So over here, math is an important aspect, right? They require mathematics as a subject in their plus two or at the bachelor's level or both, right? So basically they're trying to say uh, it's a very relaxed eligibility when you talk about mathematics being accepted, either you have it in your plus two, either you have it at bachelor's level, right? So in case you never uh, had plus two maths, you at least had maths as a subject in your bachelor's, then still you would be able to make it, right? In terms of eligibility, correct? So it's very uh, student-friendly uh, eligibility criteria, especially pertaining to mathematics, right? 
Okay. Uh, now the second important part is candidates who have a four-year bachelor's degree or a two-year bachelor's degree and have cleared the first year of master's are also eligible. The reason they have highlighted so many different aspects is because you know the international university, there will be students from other SAC nations as well. So therein the course structure is not exactly the same that we have right now, which is bachelor's of three years, which is again in coming years will tend to change to different number of years. That's a different thing altogether. But if you are coming from a four-year bachelor's degree or a two years, you are still eligible, right? And also the ones who have completed, who have completed their uh, master's first year, they are also, again, eligible for SAW entrance, right? Okay, so there is just one straightforward procedure, which is your computer-based test. There is no interview as such, right? So it's a computer-based exam entrance test. That's it. And based on your marks, you will be selected. Now coming to the exam pattern. Uh, so for this year, the duration of the exam is two hour, 120 minutes. In terms of questions, there will be 40 questions, all in MCQ form. In terms of marking uh, scheme, two marks for every correct answer and 0.5 will be deducted or one by fourth of the marks will be deducted for an incorrect answer, right? So in terms of questions, they will come from uh, microeconomics, macro, dev, eco, maths, and stats. So you can call it as a slabers as well in terms of uh, different topics or subjects that will be part of your entrance test, right? Finally, in terms of uh, the most important part, the important dates. Okay, so the application actually was supposed to close on 31st of March, 23. However, it got extended till 10th of April, but as we speak, it is extended further to 17th of April today, 11.59 p.m., right? So if you want to apply, you still have chance to go and apply for SAU M economic entrance test, whereas the uh, entrance test will happen on 29th or 30th April, okay? So one of the dates is reserved for the PhD ones, the other one is reserved for M economic entrance, right? So these are all the details and hope they were helpful for all of you and wish you best of luck. Thank you.